Welcome entrepreneur kings and queens to another episode of Promote Smart. Now today we're talking about something that is near and dear to my heart and that is how to effectively and efficiently work with a graphic designer. Now every business owner that has ever existed has had the need for the services of a graphic designer. It's one of the reasons why I love what I do because I get to work with a variety of industries and meet a wide range of entrepreneurs, community figures, and colleagues. But there is an art to working with a professional in the creative field. It can be an extremely fulfilling experience, but also can be a nightmare if both parties are unsure of true intentions and desires. So let's talk about some key ways to make your next interaction with a graphic designer the best it can possibly be. Number one, don't give complete creative control. Do your research about what you would like to see in your piece. Don't simply say, do what you want. There's a large chance that you might not like what is produced at all. It also causes the designer to spend more time brainstorming about your project without a clear direction. Google the very item that you're trying to create or the idea that you initially had and see what others have created that catches your eye. Two, allocate a budget. Even if you don't know how much the designer will charge you, know how much money you're willing to spend regardless of their prices. Spending way more than you wanted or could afford almost always places you in a biased frame of mind when reviewing the final product. Three, plan ahead. Begin the design process in enough time to get your final product when you need it. Contact the designer as soon as you know the project is on the table, even if your concept isn't completely formulated. Go ahead and introduce the designer at this point. They might be able to offer suggestions on the type of printed piece that would be best or design direction. Four, give your designer feedback on your experience. In any business, customer satisfaction is key. If you enjoyed the experience that you had working with your designer, tell them. Don't just say thank you, but write them a testimonial explaining how much you appreciated their creativity or flexibility working around a tight deadline. Be sure to tell others about them and continue to work with them again. But if you didn't like the experience you had with your designer, tell them. In a professional and courteous manner, let them know what your true feelings were about your interaction and where they can improve. Five. Leave the initial consultation knowing specifics. After meeting with a designer for the first time, you should walk away knowing the following. Their price, your payment arrangements and when payment is due, their turnaround time, the revision process as to how long that takes, how many are allowed or included, and the price, and the designer's experience and portfolio. Don't blindly give your money away to someone that doesn't give you confidence in their ability. The less you know about the designer's true intent and skills after writing that check, the more uncomfortable you will be throughout the entire process. In the end, you should feel confident and excited about moving forward. If you don't with that particular designer, don't be afraid to move on to someone else until you do. Don't know of a design firm that can produce quality work in a timely fashion? Well, now you do. Check out LeadGraphics.com and schedule a consultation with us about your design needs. For more information on how to work well with a graphic designer, visit my blog on LeadGraphics.com. And remember, it's your business. Why not take the lead?